All right, good evening. Welcome back to JPCE Spiritual Talk. It's Jared Campbell. So this evening's two major talking points this evening we're going to talk about. The first one we're going to talk about the harbinger of the Wagner attack with a major strike. So Russia has a, had a major attack in Ukraine today. So Russia leveled the Academy of Ground Forces in leave, 800 dead and injured, including lots of Ukrainians and mercenaries. All right, so that's the title, their words, not mine. Our next thing, we're going to talk about a Ukrainian commander exploded against Emmanuel Marcon. He's not happy with Marcon. His question was, what did France give us? They gave him French AMX 10RC. These are vehicles. Apparently, they were unsuitable for combat, according to this Ukrainian commander. That's what we're going to talk about. And some other highlights as well. But before, let's start out real quick with the Lord's Prayer. And we'll get into these articles. And we're going to close out with a reading from Matthew chapter 7, verse 8. And the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses. Do forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation. But deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Sages. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. All right, good evening. Welcome back. All right. So, our first article, we're going to talk about the huge attack by the Russians in Ukraine. So, this is the biggest blow so far since the beginning of the war. All right. The largest mass missile strike to date against a, against a Ukrainian military target, namely the Ground Forces Academy, was launched by Russia, leveling more than 30 buildings with a barrage of 10 caliber cruise missiles. Ooh. Russia hit training centers in Lviv with the announcement of the Russian Ministry of Defense causing shock. 800 Ukrainian soldiers and mercenaries were killed and wounded while British Challenger tanks were also hit. According to the Russian announcement, armed forces attacked the military equipment storage site and barracks in Lviv, and where about 800 Ukrainian soldiers and mercenaries were also stationed. The target of today's strike on the enemy's strategic reserves was Western military equipment and soldiers on the grounds of the Academy of Ground Forces in Lviv. The strike... The strike with precision weapons took place in the park area of the academy, as well as star storage area for and made armored vehicles, including British Challenger tanks. The strike also hit the barracks, where about 800 soldiers and foreign mercenaries were housed. This military strike by Russia can also be considered a harbinger of Wagner's ground operations as it significantly weakened the defense of western Ukraine. So the Wagner group, so they're... Kind of talking about making a reference to the Wagner Group. So the Wagner Group was a private military force, right? And they were like mercenaries, right? They were like a private, you said a private military source. A lot of them were pulled from prisons. So some of them were, of course, probably were former military and things like that, right? Probably maybe citizen with a bad record. Who knows, right? They weren't really good people, but they they did a lot of damage. In Bukmut, right? In Ukraine. So that's what it's saying there. So it's making that reference there to the Wagner Group. So the Wagner Group was very, very, uh, they were very deadly in Bukmut. I think they said they lost, what, maybe 60% of what they went in to Ukraine with. And so the Wagner Group lost a lot, right? I was, I was keeping up with a lot of that heavy fighting for a while. All right, so let's move on. So the 10 caliber cruise missiles were fired. Last night, Russia launched 10 caliber cruise missiles, of which seven were shot down. The command of the armed forces of Ukraine announced. The, the Ukrainians also added that several groups of rockets were recorded, heading north, then abruptly changing course to the west. According to the Ukrainians, the attack destroyed more than 30 residential buildings, more than 250 apartments, 10 dormitories, an orphanage, two universities, school, sanatorium, and regional military administration building. So here's a tweet from a Ukraine before and after. That night, hashtag leave was attacked by a caliber. By a caliber. Seven out of ten missiles were destroyed. 
explosions. So also there were uh, three other regions that were also hit, right, that night. Leave Shura. Shurasky, if I said that right, and Dino Protrovix was another one that was hit. So Reds of Lee pointed out that the Ground Forces Academy and, and Artillery Training Center and the Army Hostel were hit. Apart from Lee, explosions occurred in Shurasky and Dino Protrovix regions. All right, so that's where that article ended. So our next one, talk about a Ukrainian commander exploded against Manuel Marcone. What did France give us? French AMX 10RC, unsuitable for combat. They're a danger mainly to the crew. So the, a so the AMX 10RC light tanks supplied by France to Ukraine are unsuitable for frontline combat operations, a, U a Ukrainian military official says. The battalion commander of the 37th Infantry Brigade said the armored vehicles were ineffective for frontline attacks because of their thin armor. He also said the tanks were easily torn apart by military shells fired from Russian forces. <laughs> their weaponry is good, and their, ob and their observation instruments are very good. But unfortunately, they have light armor, which makes them unsuitable, the Ukrainian official explained. Last January, last January French, President em French President Emmanuel Marcon announced that his country would send more AMX-10 RCs to the Ukrainian army. The Ukrainian official revealed that there were some cases where a 152 millimeter, 152 millimeter shell exploded near the tank and pierced its armor. A projectile exploded next to the vehicle. Sh shrapnel pierced the armor and the ammunition stockpile was also detonated, he said. The tank crew didn't have time to get out and was also killed. In addition, some AMX-10 RCs also had problems with their gearboxes. Sending these vehicles to destroy them is pointless because it poses a danger mainly to the crew, the Ukrainian military official said. Now here's a tweet that someone put out. It said, Russian troops captured a French wheeled tank AMX 10RC abandoned by the armed, for abandoned by the armed forces of Ukraine in the, in the Yugodar direction with full ammunition. So there's a video. I'm not going to play the video. The video's there. The link, the, all these links are in the description boxes. All right, so that's where that ended. A few more things to cover real quick before we close out. So, SOS from Britain, Kremenia debacle. One hundred twenty thousand Russian soldiers crush Ukrainian counteroffensive, launch offensive towards Kubiansk and Kharkiv. There's also videos in there and hard images, okay? I don't have time to get into that, but I did post a link to the article. just wanted to give an update there. Also, hundreds dead in the trenches of, of Kilviska. Ukrainian brigades besieged the southern side of Bukmut to enter the city. So in this one, here... They had really fierce fighting, the Ukrainians. So the Ukrainians here had, had fierce fighting with hundreds of dead. It's taking place in the Bukmut front. With the situation on the southern flank of the city critical for the Russian army, the Ukrainians made significant progress reaching the trenches of the settlement. Right? So in this one, the Ukrainians are making some progress. Okay? They're fighting hard despite some of the, the failures they've had. Right? Launching their first counteroffensive. They are making up some ground. And today, they fought really hard. So, we're going to end there. We're going to close out. Thank you all again for following. All right, so we're going to close out with Matthew chapter 7, verse 8. So it says, Matthew chapter 7, verse 8, says, In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. We ask in prayer. We seek by learning God's truth, and we knock by doing God's will. And this is where we will close in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord God, you spoke to us your divine saving words. You illuminate the souls of sinners to comprehend what we just read. That we don't appear simply as hearers, spiritual words, but doers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith. 
having to blame his life and conduct without reproaching Christ or Lord. You are light. To you will be glory. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever, the sages. Amen. Our Father who art in heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever, the sages. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. All right. Good evening. We depart in peace. In the name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all. Go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. Right? May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Let's ages. Amen. Jerry Wesley Campbell. Good evening, good night, good day. Good afternoon, good morning, whenever and however these messages, these readings, these articles find you all. I love you. I love you all so much. All right? JPC spiritual talk never hold back. Right? No excuses. All right? We seek our treasures in heaven, don't we? All right? We all should. That's where we should start. Seek our treasures in heaven. All right? I love you all so much. Remember, we ask in prayer. We seek by learning God's truth, and we knock by doing. God's will. Good evening and good night. Shalom, shalom.